So this lesson we'll look at circles. From our home tab in the draw panel we've got our options for circle. Now I find that it's a good idea to always use the pull down menu for these because even if you ask for center radius or center diameter or one or the other the next time you use the command if you just try to repeat the command it doesn't necessarily repeat that mode of it. So first of all center radius these are fairly obvious click to place the center point and notice that the cursor the crosshair is a line from the center to the outside of the circle so we place our circle as compared with when we go center diameter click to place the center and now the cursor is twice the distance from the center of the circle so it's the diameter away so that's our first two options. Moving down two point and three point, they are quite similar, so specify two points on a circle and it draws the only possible solution through those two points. And three points, if we indicate three points, one, two, three, and it draws the only possible solution to go through those three points. just running through them fairly quickly tan tan radius this is a very handy one so tan it forces it to select a tangent and it can be a circle or a, a line tangent to anything there's the second you can see the tangent symbol coming up so it's going to be tangent to those two circles and now it wants to know a radius now this is only going to work if we specify a radius that will actually create a circle that will touch both of those circles. So I'm going to put in a really big number. I haven't been doing looking particularly at the sizes I'm using here. I'll put in 5000. Okay. So it's done a possible solution. Now depending where I picked in the first place, if I pick the points where that circle would have gone and touched the outside of that circle, it would draw a circle out here. I must have been past the center point when I touched this circle and it's come down on the lower side so it just depends on where you actually pick initially so if I just do another one there 10 10 and I'll go a radius of say 500 and it's picked up the inside circle there okay last one is 10 10 10 and this is really handle handy if you are making a circle to touch three other circles some pipes stacked on each other for example and there's some examples that you'll be doing that require you to use that one 